We'll go to the 36th round of Columbia's peace talks now between the government and the FARC rebels. Our correspondent Natalia Margarita, Mar Natalia Margarita reports the issue of removing landmines will be at the center of negotiations. As the Colombian Army and the FARC have previously agreed on a joint operation to start clearing landmines, peace advocates continue to draw attention on the importance of implementing other de-escalation measures together with the demining process. What would be the point of clearing explosive devices and mines in the countryside if the dynamics of confrontation and hostilities keep on developing further? In order to clear landmines in an integral way that benefits the rural communities, the demining process must be developed together with a bilateral ceasefire. A priority of the 36th round of peace talks is to accelerate the demining process in which residents of the rural areas are expected to have a main role. We, the peasant organizations, are going to be important players in this process as we have been victims of many of those mines planted in our territories. We know where many of the mines are located. Therefore, our contributions are crucial, but we demand guarantees from the government in terms of more de-escalation measures that are required. Meanwhile, how to compensate the victims is still widely discussed and the FARC peace delegation has called on the government to recognize the responsibility that the state also has for the victims of the conflict. The responsibility of the state has to be acknowledged in order to achieve peace. This statement comes in the wake of a recent request the FARC made to the government to declassify conflict archives in order to clarify the truth as a fundamental part of the victims' rights and compensation. The archives declassification is something that particularly the victims of state crimes movement has been demanding for years. In order to expose the state responsibility in the conflict, something that has been systematically denied in Colombia. This 36th round of peace talks follows a deadly clash between the army and the FARC, which didn't prevent both parties involved in the negotiation from ratifying their commitment to the peace process. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Bogotá.